What's up guys? All right, we're in Denver, Colorado. Got up super early this morning, flew out to Denver from Durango. Short flight, so not too bad. Uh, got in, I don't know, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Grabbed the rental car, headed into the office. Of course it was snowing when I landed. Of course it was. Uh, knocked out some work, now I'm back at the hotel. It's Domino's Pizza time. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get up around 4 a.m. I've flown over Garden of the Gods quite a few times and I've always wanted to go check it out. I'm about an hour north of it. And I think uh, Sunrise is the best way to shoot Garden of the Gods, the way it's facing, because it's like Garden of the Gods, the mountains, west, and the sun's gonna rise in the east. So the sun coming up this way, I'll get good light on the face of it. If I were to do sunset, the mountains to the west of uh, the rock formations probably would put it in shadows pretty early. So I'm hoping this is right. I've never been there. I've only scouted it online, but really what an amazing time we live in where you can scout a place thoroughly before even visiting it. You can scout a place thoroughly from thousands of miles away. All right, so up super early, get that sunrise knocked out. See you guys in the morning, bright and early. Yes, I'd like a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit combo with a coffee medium. I want this more than life. It's uh, 5.39 a.m. I've just pulled into the entrance of the park. Holy crap. The sun is right behind the ridge behind the camera here and it's gonna illuminate these rocks. The thing is, I've never been here, so I think I arrive at night, and um, I don't know where I'm at. I have researched it on Google Maps as much as I can, so I just hope I'm in the right spot, because as soon as that sun breaks over those mountains behind this camera, it's gonna cast a really rad light on the rock formations themselves, so I'm hoping I get it right. All right, guys, so I'm in the park. I didn't have the luxury of scouting it the day before, so I'm unable to get far enough away. Check these formations out. So it's pretty amazing. But like I said, I'm unable to get far enough back from the formation to take anything meaningful. So what I'm gonna do is just try to snap a couple pics real quick before the sun comes up, haul butt to the car, and just drive around the park and see what I can get. I'm just gonna try to enjoy the beauty of it. I mean, I may never be here again. Just take advantage of it, soak it all in, because it is pretty freaking amazing. I mean, you get to walk right beside these guys. Garden of the Gods, Colorado Springs. Okay, time to haul butt to the car and see if I can't find a better spot. Um, it's really beautiful, but I mean, there's no way I'm encompassing the totality of it. It's so big that I don't think I could. That's what she said. <laughs>
Okay, so I found another pull-off spot. Um, man, the light's tough. The trail is very restricting, but I'm just riding around and doing the best I can with the light that I have available to me. You know, a day outside is never a bad day, even if I don't get like the shot that everybody's like, ooh, amazing. But I do want you to check this out. Those amazing peaks right here. But then it goes into a valley. Check that out. All right, so I'm gonna try to get set up on this guy right here and see what we can do. So let's figure this thing out. Okay, we're at another pull off. It's gonna be a cool little valley, but I did shoot this guy right here. No clue how that's gonna look, but let's hike down here. <clears throat> really cool little rock formations. Okay, so let's do a pano. Um, behind me is a pretty rad little valley. There's tons of runners out here. I don't blame them. Can you imagine how amazing a run would be out here? Uh, <clears throat> so, making the best of the situation with the light that I have available to me. Like I said, I could have either stayed in bed or drove about an hour south and came down here and just experienced it all. I'll be honest, Toda Chrome Basin State Park in Utah is exponentially better than this. I thought this was going to be much larger. It's still really beautiful. Tons of wild animals around, tons of pull-offs, but you're, you're just so on top of it. You can't really get far enough back. And the widest lens I have is a 24. And usually that's more than enough. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Okay guys, so I'm at Red Rock, Red Rock Park and Amphitheater. Man, this place is amazing. Um, it's really hard to shoot this one as well. I definitely didn't scout it out in advance, but check this out. So I'm actually down on the stage right now. Can you imagine like playing a concert, looking up into this? That would be insane. So the sunrise is gonna be, it is right up over my shoulder. It's in about 10 minutes. I'm hoping I'm in the right position because if I go up top and shoot down, it's gonna cast a shadow onto the stage and the bleachers. But going down here, I'm hoping to get some light up on those rocks. Yet again though, I have two uh, zoomed in of a lens. The widest lens I have is a 24 to 70. But, so this is a business trip that I tried to sneak some photography in, so I wasn't able to scout, and, but I don't even care, guys. I mean, when you're in an area, even if you're there for business, wake up early, go out, see some cool stuff, because I may never be here again either, and I definitely want to capture all of it that I can, look back on it and be like, holy crap, yeah, that's it. 
so let's see what shots I can get, what shots I can't get. Um, riding up in here, I was riding up, of course, in pitch black. And then you could see like the valley down in the distance, all lit up with the city lights. Man, that was crazy. So this vlog is gonna be super erratic. And I'm not even gonna apologize. You guys came along for a business trip that I snuck in some photography. All right, hopefully we get some light from sunrise on these rocks, but we'll see. So normally when I go on landscape trips, I'm like super planned out, you know, I have every spot I wanna hit and I'm usually there for sunset. I don't typically like sunrise because the light is really flat most of the time. And this is definitely one of those times as well. I probably could use a polarizer for this, but I mean the, the range on the 750 and what you can do in post, you can probably clean it up a lot. But holy crap, this is beautiful. Um, but you have another spot where I'm just like all up on it. But holy crap, guys, look at that. Man, there is a line of traffic down there. And I've got to get in that. It's uh, 6.35 a.m. Without traffic, this drive is about 30 minutes. I have an eight o'clock call. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna pack my crap up and hit the road. Dude, I'm gonna be so late for my meeting. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I was updating the TPS reports. Yeah, yeah, it's in your inbox now. Looks like we averted a real crisis though. The font on the cover page was 12 bold times new Roman and not 12 bold italicized times new Roman. Yeah. Hey, hey, no need for applause guys. I'm, I'm a human just like you guys. I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like you. Hey, Bill, Bill, you're still sharing your screen. We can see everything you're doing. And let me just say, uh, between you, me, and the 50 other people on this call, that's some kinky stuff, Bill. I can't believe your wife's going to let you buy that. Yeah. Man, is it the, that looks like it would hurt. Yes, Tom. Synergy. I get it. We need to harness the synergy. Roger that. For sure. Yes. All right, guys. Well, have a spectacularly wonderful synergistic day. Absolutely. For sure. <laughs> so with each of these vlogs, I want to start um, doing like a lessons learned. I want to like recap what went right, what went wrong. Um, because I want to grow my photography skills, my vlogging skills, and I just want to become a better person in general. And I think really one of the key ways to do to do that, that being improve in whatever you're trying to do, is to constantly evaluate what happened and try to you know devise a plan on on what you want to change and how you would possibly change. So let's run through some of the things, right? So the number one definitely was. Uh, not having a wide enough lens. I mean, the subjects were just like right up on me and there was, there was no getting back away from it. Garden of the Gods, uh, there's a loop and that loop puts you right up on top of it. And uh, when I came into the park, that was the farthest back I could be, but that was only one scene. 
and you know I arrived at dark so I, I didn't know where to hike in and then ultimately when the sun came up and I rode around that loop there really wasn't anywhere to go and then this morning at Red Rock I mean same deal you can get far enough back but to really encapsulate it it's difficult the widest lens I had is a 24 to 70 and then also a 70 to 200 those two lenses have served me so well and it's really um, dependent upon where you're at like normally I'm so far from my subject that 70 to 200 is perfect because I can zoom right in and isolate that subject so yeah gear and evaluation that was something I learned uh, I'll definitely pencil that down and the next one was my growing passion and love for video as a medium to tell the story or convey the message or convey the sense of location I've been a stills photographer for five years and with a still photo it's just that right it's one static image and how you tell whomever is viewing that image where you're at and what you saw it's, it's, it's all or nothing without one image sure you can shoot multiple images in a series and establish that but you know one five second video just panning across the scene can tell you so much more about where you're at you know you can hear the birds chirping like this morning in red rock you can see people moving throughout the frame clouds moving wind moving trees it's just so much more alive when i when i first started vlogging it the, the camera portion was just a tool to show you how i was getting my images and I wanted to bring you along for the day. It, this is an interesting turn in that, like, I'm starting to look at the screen on the back of the camera when I'm recording things, thinking, wow, this is amazing. This is so freaking powerful. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. Number three, uh, I guess, storytelling in general. I really need to work on the smaller details, the B-roll. You know, like some uh, vloggers are like, I'm the B-roll king, and you know who I'm talking about. Um, and B-roll doesn't have to be sexy, but it's so important. You guys aren't with me every second of the vlog, and for me to uh, convey what's taking place, I need to give you these little tidbits that seem insignificant when you're recording them, but when you put them all together, man, it really ties together location A and location B with that B-roll transitioning through. So I want to get a lot better at that, and hopefully that will improve over time. And I think the final lesson learned or takeaway from this trip is this was a business trip first. And like I've said, I've just snuck in photography. And I kind of had to allow myself, knowing that that was the case, to be okay with not being perfect on my composition, my images, my location, right? Like, I had to get up and go to meetings. I had to get up and be in an office. And I didn't have the luxury during daylight to go scout these areas. It's a busy metropolitan area, tons of people. Like, to do that during lunch hour is impossible. Um, so, I'm kind of glad it worked out that way because now it takes the pressure off of being perfect. I hope what you take away from this spiel is that it's okay not to be perfect. It's even more okay to experience versus capture, right? Just just be there. I'm going to crash because I got up crazy early this morning. Tomorrow's a travel day. I get to fly back to Durango to my wife and dogs. Super pumped for that. And then it's a quick turnaround, right? I have the weekend, Monday, and then I got to fly Tuesday to Jacksonville, Florida, take care of some personal business, but I'm also going to sneak in some photography again. It's funny, back-to-back -back trips where... Uh, photography is not the reason I'm there, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. Day five. It was in the 80s and 70s all week, and now look at this crap.